Nothing that cheers me up more than a good old video compilation of cats chattering at birds. They're also called ek 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 cats because that's kind of how you would spell the sound that they make when they hear birds chirping outside. And you know what? I love them so much that I'm going to show you a way you can bring them to life in your own home with a little bit of art magic and imagination. It's ek 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 time. First of all, we take our right hand and make the shape of a duck's beak. Then placing it in the middle of an A4 sheet of card, we lightly trace around the fingers, move our hands towards the bottom of the page, and lightly trace around the thumb. Next, using the fingers as a rough template, we sketch out the top of our cat's face, creating a downward semicircle from the edge of its mouth to the back of its head. Then using the thumb as a rough template, we sketch out its lower jaw, rounding it off the same way in reverse. Next we add all the detail, colouring in the cat's features in any way you like. Hey, this is your cat, your rules. I'm going to draw a ginger tabby cat using colouring pencils to really bring out that soft furry feel. Once you're happy with your design, we cut it out. We then overlap the top half with the bottom half, carefully punching a hole right through both pieces of card using a sharp pencil and a ball of blue tack underneath to be extra safe. Next, we poke a split pin through the holes you've just made, joining the two halves together. And lastly, we use the width of our finger and thumb to measure out and snip two short pieces of string. We then line them up on the back to where our index finger and thumb will go and stick them down with a piece of tape. Now all that's left to do is put it on and take it for a test drive. Go on, give it a go! An egg 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 cat! <laughs> Hello. If you're bored, by the door, give it a pair of eyes. If you're bored, by the chair, give it a pair of eyes. If you're bored, by the lamp, give it a pair of eyes. If you're bored, by the wall, give it a pair of eyes. Cause you have eyes and I have eyes, so I can't everything else have eyes. If you're bored, by the toilet, give it a pair of eyes. If you're bored by the fridge, give it a pair of eyes. If you're bored by the curtains, give it a pair of eyes. If you're bored by the cat, it's already got eyes. It doesn't need more eyes. 
it doesn't need more eyes. Cause you have eyes and I have eyes, so why can't everything else have eyes? If you're bored by the tree, give it a pair of eyes. If you're bored by the grass, give it a pair of eyes. If you're bored by the sky, imagine that it has eyes. If you're bored by your face, um, give it a pair of eyes. Cause you have eyes and I have eyes, so why can't everything else have eyes? All very valid points. <laughs> oh, what a great idea. Putting all eyes on things. Isn't that great? You know what? I think I'd like to see how I, well, how he, how I did that. So, so let's take a look. Right, so what I've done is I've penciled in all the eyes onto a sheet of mount card. And I'm using a black felt tip marker. Okay, I'm drawing around all the outline. So now I am getting all the colours I need and I'm filling in all the, I'm just colouring it in, all bright colours. Colouring it in, doing that really fast. What, what am I going to do next here? Okay, shock, shock, horror, I'm cutting it all out. You can put eyes on anything you like, put it on, on a car or um, a football if you have one. Per, per shoes, um, you put it on your back. I haven't tried that. Put it on the back of your head. It makes you look like you've got your whole face is covered in in hair. And there you go. You sketch it out. You color it in. You cut it out, and you stick it on anywhere you like with some blue tack or double sided tape. So uh, go on, give it a go. Give it a pair of eyes. <laughs> Now it's time to take a look at some of your work on the Fridge Gallery. And today's theme is space. Oh, so much of it. Well, shall we take a little look at what our little art people have brought us today? <sighs> now Molly, age 17, has sent us in a very trendy Wendy piece of fan art of a character from her favorite anime cartoon, My Hero Academia using a digital drawing pad this time to give the cleanest lines you've ever seen. Honestly, it's like a screenshot. Thanks, Molly. Keep it up, girl. Clara, age seven, has sent us in a very dramatic piece of art showing a NASA astronaut floating in space. She's used black pen to outline the figure and coloring pencils to fill in the background. Next stop, the red planet. Choo choo. <laughs> Thanks, Clara. It's great. It really is. Florence, aged three, has sent us in a very clever collage of a rocket ship using red card for the wings, tissue paper for the flames, and actual buttons for the windows. Uh, Houston, we have a problem. This rocket ship is made from a human foot. <laughs> Thanks, Florence. What do you think, Teddy, my friend? <laughs> Will, aged five, has given us a very interesting picture of space using colouring pencils where, as I've been told, the red bit is a cucumber Mars, the orange bit is clearly a rocket, and Earth and Saturn are also in there too. I'll take your word for it, Will. You're the best. Here we have a very playful self-portrait sent in by our very own space teddy bear friend, showing a little chat between herself and a Shrek-like tentacle seaweed alien. I hope he's as friendly as you, teddy bear friend, <laughs> when you want to be. And lastly, we have, once again, an astronaut, apparently the size of an entire planet. This nervous little guy was drawn by me when I was seven years old. I think he spotted Teddy, my friend, in the distance. <laughs> Run while you can, space van. Run while you can.
Well, everyone, that's the end of the episode. Thanks to everyone who sent in their work and to everyone else watching. Go on, give it a go. Let's do an art. And we'll see you again next time. Bye. That's where I was. I wonder where that went. Because it was like, it was on the table and then I was looking for it. Do you like it? That's a cutie. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. All right. Yeah. Okay. We've seen that. Remember we did the whole different four minutes. Me making them. This. Don't throw it away. You broke it now. <laughs>